Uh, this is the heat advisory that's out, so be smart about the heat tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have a heat advisory across the afternoon and then on Thursday as well. This is going to be some of the hottest weather we have seen so far this season. The ambient temperature, the feel like temperatures are going to get over 110 in some spots. Here are the ambient temperatures. The actual temperatures forecast at 103 for tomorrow at DFW. And then on Thursday, just add a degree 104. The, both of them would be the hottest days we've had so far this year. So we're talking about some serious heat around here. Uh, as we uh, go into a look outside. Dallas Fort Worth is sitting at 99 degrees. It did get up to 101 today. We have a little bit of a southeast wind, not much to, of a breeze to help with this heat. The dew point at 66. That's a little humid. If you want to get out and enjoy the temperatures, it's in the upper 90s here across 6 and 7 o'clock, but exercise your heat precautions still until we close the day. And here's the next three days and not much good news if you're not a big fan of the heat. Tomorrow's high 103 with a feel like probably topping out 106. So heat advisory conditions both tomorrow and Thursday. Just ramp it up a little bit more on Thursday and Friday. It comes down a little bit, but those feel like temperatures uh, at 100 degrees around just over now will go to that 105 threshold plus for tomorrow. So what's going on? We got the high pressure dome, that heat dome that's now basically mostly out to the west kind of building up enough to affect us for the next couple of days. So it's really strong uh, tomorrow and then even stronger still on Thursday. And then it's going to drift a little to the west, just enough to allow some cooler air come in. But I've circled the two worst days. Those are the next two days. And then you've got temperatures coming down to something just more your typical August heat. Uh, these are rainfall totals out in the Carolinas. Yeah, over a foot. Uh, anticipated over the next seven days. So all sorts of flooding issues there. But if you're looking for some rain here, not much in the forecast. So keep that in mind. I think as we get deeper in the week, we're going to start talking more and more about uh, grass fire risk. But we got these hot days and then we have a weekend that is merely only hot and then we're back to real hot. <laughs>